What's up guys, it's Brown here. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give me a huge thumbs up. So today, I have been practicing origami with money. But you don't need to use money. You can use paper if you want, but it's going to be a little bit harder than paper. It doesn't matter what type of bill you use. I'm just going to use a $2 bill. I've done it with $1 bills. You can do it with... It's basically the same thing. You can do it with all bills. $1, $2, $5, $10, $20, $50, and even $100. And if you were to do 100 that whatever we're making, which is a ring, that would be cost a lot. Hundred dollar ring, get it? And everything, everything. So your materials. It, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this, this ring that you can wear. And when you make origami, you with any type of thing, you usually aren't supposed to take it apart, like. Why would you make origami and take it apart right away? That make no sense. So today I made a heart with one dollars, one dollar, and I made a diamond that looks okay. A diamond, but I can have the points up or down. So that will be a different video of how to make different ones because the only one I've memorized is this. And then this. Okay. So we're I'm gonna be doing it with two dollar bills, a two dollar bill. But you can do anything, so your pot supplies is any type of money. Tape. And a toothpick or a paper clip. Doesn't really matter. So what you're gonna do is with the two dollar bill. Okay. So you're gonna take, I think you're gonna grab this side. So I'm gonna sit like this so it's easier. So you're gonna grab the $2 bill. You're gonna take, you see this white line up here? You're gonna grab that and just start like folding it. Like you're gonna fold it. Fold it until it looks like and fold it. And if I'm ever going too fast, you can always pause the video. But I'm probably not going to go fast. I can't really. So that's how. Um, and then you can have this on table, but I'm just going to hold it. And then you want to grab, kind of like grab your fingernails and go like this. Crease it. Oops. So it, if we don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be big enough. Okay. So there's that. And then flip it over. We grab this whole end right here, and we're gonna bring it up. All the way up, so I'll kind of lift this up, kind of lift it up like that, and then you're gonna grab the whole other side, you're gonna bring it under, and you're gonna crease it again, and that's perfect. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just saying that. So, like that. Then you're gonna grab this and you're gonna put it over it. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it, fold it again. Once you do this a lot, it's usually not that hard. So I know the first time I did it, it was pretty hard. And 
Make sure it's good. Crease it again. And then once you do that, flip it over. Go like this. And then you're going to grab left side. Like, if I'm sitting like this, well, it would just the left side. So make, if you don't know your lefts and rights, go like this. And whatever finger makes an L, that's the one. So my left is this. So probably mm, your guys is right. <laughs> or maybe the same way, I don't know. So you're going to grab, you see this what little line right here? You're going to fold that back. Because that's going to be where, you, like, you'll see. You'll see, but just tuck that back. You're going to grab um, your finger. And then you're going to go this way until it, like, makes a dent. So if you have a two dollar bill, you're going to, like this, kind of. What you're going to do is you're going to, and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab it and squeeze it with your pointer and your thumb. And then you're going to bring it clockwise. You're going to circle it clockwise. And it's only going to wrap around your pointer finger. So... Let's see. Only your pointer. Okay. It doesn't have to be tight on you, but what's the fit? Usually with these rings, it goes on your uh, pinky. So then what you're going to do is once you have it around, you're going to really squeeze it. And then you're going to kind of go like this if you want to have it circle more. And then what you're going to do is you're going to let go. And you want to have it so that the two is facing this way or facing not towards you and then i think all the bills have this but it says united states of america and then you're going to kind of fold it up in the middle of the o and the f and then kind of look like this so it's in between the o and the f and then you're going to crease it and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab it like this and you're going to grab the two, and then you're kind of going to bring them both forward. And while you do it, you're going to turn it. And then you have it together like this. What I do is I open the two. We're going to do it the access as you. So you have it like this, okay? We've got the two's right there. Oops. And what I do is I open the two. I grab the access. I really bring it over and under. And then with this access, you can usually tuck it under. But that's when the tape comes in handy. You only want to grab, like, let's see, a little bit. Probably, like, even less than this. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you can go, like, that. Oops. You're going to tape it. You're going to tape it to here. And then you kind of want to grab that and squeeze it so it stays. the tape stays on it. And then what you're going to do is you have this. You're going to kind of squeeze it so then you can see it, that little hole there. Right, right there. And then you're going to grab it with this little part. You're going to bring it over and you're going to tuck it in. Because if you can't, like, put it in because I kind of have big fingers. And that's when the toothpick or the paper clip comes in handy. And you can, like, push it in kind of. Push it in that little hole so then it stays in there. So that's when that comes in handy. So, and then it should look like this or somewhere near this. Here's the one I just made. And you use the one that we showed. So I made a lot of them because my neighbor, she wants me to make some for, so she gave me, cause she thought $2 bills would be special. So I have one more to make for her. So I thought, oh, since I know how to make them. So I thought like, oh, maybe I can make a video about it and teach everybody else how to make rings out of them. So I made a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, tw
three, four, five, and then I'm gonna make six. Because she gave me one, two, three, four, five. She gave me six $2 bills because $2 bills are special. So I'll make it even more special. Money into a ring. $2, that's special. So then, so she gave me six because she had um, three of her grandkids. I'm not gonna name them because that's, you're not supposed to. And three of her grandkids. And then she gave me three more for either me, my sister, and my mom, because my brother already got one for my grandma that she makes. She makes them too, so I sent the pictures of them to show her. She's like, oh, that's cool and stuff. So yeah, she gave me one for me and my sister and my mom, because my dad doesn't really want one. He doesn't care for it. So yeah. I, don't, I didn't make this, somebody else did, but she gave this to me to keep, and it's very tight. So yeah, <sighs> hopefully you got this right, like you made it really good. So yeah, I do hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I will make more. Or get me stuff. Like a heart and a diamond. So yeah, bye.